Hello guys, and as the title says, I have some pretty big news. I might, I might, I'm not official, be, might be making a found footage YouTube movie called Jurassic Park Resurgence. It's my own fan film I've been have, bouncing around in my mind for quite a while, and anyways, I'm going to go over all the dinosaurs that could be featured in the film, and it's, it's a forced perspective which means it's close to the camera to make it look giant, but it really isn't, and it's mostly puppets, and I'm going to go over all the species. So let's get started. Starting with the medium dinosaurs and deadliness, the Carcharodontosaurus. This is a large, 40-foot-long killer that lived alongside the Spinosaurus in the Cretaceous era. has a powerful bite, in real life is actually bigger than a Tyrannosaurus and, and could fight anything. It was without a doubt one of the most deadly predators of its time right alongside the Spinosaurus. It's not going to play a huge role. It will be in a good part of the movie, but it won't be the, like, the huge main role. Anyways, let's go on to the next creature. Carnotaurus. A 30-foot-long giant killer that lived in the Triassic, if I'm not mistaken, Jurassic, I don't know. But it, it does, too, ha it, too, has powerful jaws, can probably take on the T-Rex. Ugh, dang it, spoilers. And, um, yeah, it's pretty deadly. It's gonna, not, it's gonna be featured in a little glimpse in my film. Uh, and also, to, oh, I meant to tell you this. My film is not going to be officially it's not official yet uh, I need to, it's this is just a possible thing that's going to happen anyways yeah that's the Carnotaurus Suchomimus no I know I know it says Baryonyx in the picture but I like to think it's a Suchomimus it's, uh, it's a 20 foot long to 30 foot long killer and it ate fish, and it could fight other predators easily. It could probably easily fight the Carnotaurus that could be in my film. And th that'll be a pretty good brawl. Yeah, it's a relative to the Spinosaurus. Once again, it says Baryonyx, but um, I like to call it a Suchomimus. But Suchomimus had three fingers, not two. That's my only problem. So yeah, it's 20 feet long, pretty deadly, and actually kind of has a taste for people, so it makes it more scary. Yeah, that's our Spinosaurid. Next. Triceratops, Dr. Grant's old favorite. This is a 15 foot long giant that ate grass and will obviously eat grass in the film. This is not the official design for my Triceratops. My Triceratops, I'm trying to find a good rubber, big rubber figure that I could use as the Triceratops' role. Yeah, and this should be the colors should be something like this. I'm trying to find something similar to this. And actually, I think I did find something like this in Michael's. You know, that it's it's like that arts and crap crafts store. Anyways, yeah, that's the Triceratops. It's going to be in my movie. It's not going to play a huge role. But yeah, it's going to be somewhat included in my movie. Next... Brachiosaurus. Nothing much to say other than it is massive, 60 feet to 80 feet long, and it's uh, grazed on grass. Very, very big, kind of like a big cow, like if you get that refer reference. And uh, yeah, once again, it's not going to play a huge uh, role, but it's still going to be in the film anyway. But yeah, it's going to be a pretty cool one to see even though it's been almost all the films of Jurassic Park it'll be pretty cool next next uh, does it exist in source really size comparison guy you're not a dinosaur you're just a size comparison guy that's going to be size compared to all the the next dinosaurs that are coming up but you're not a dinosaur duh yeah, guys, this is the guy that's going to be in, a, that I'm going to use as, like, the size comparison for all the next dinosaurs that I'm going to show. The reason I couldn't do it for the last dinosaurs was because uh, it, those were pictures, and, and I'm using iMovie, and I don't know how to Photoshop it into a picture. Anyways, next dinosaur. 
All right, now we're getting serious. This is Tyranno Titan. It was a rel actual seriously existed. It was a relative of the T Rex. Pretty big. I'm pretty sure it was around 30 feet long. Actually, it was like 20 in real life. But I'm gonna oversize all the dinosaurs in my film. So yeah. So anyways, Tyranno Titan, the oversized one of the oversized dinosaurs, is about as big as a uh, 50 feet long. That big and pretty deadly. Not gonna play a huge role in the movie. It's it is pretty deadly though. It's gonna eat a lot of people and eventually be killed by one of the dinosaurs, but I'm not gonna tell you which one. And here he is compared to the size comparison dude. I sorry, you can only see a little bit of him. Utah Raptor, my favorite raptor other than Deinonychus, uh, mainly because of the name. Anyways, Utah Raptor was a 10 foot long raptor, uh, 20 feet, I don't know, but this one is going to be 30 feet, the movie one, 30 feet long, pretty big, oversized, fast, deadly, and very intelligent like the usual velociraptors. All right, now we're getting into the last two dinosaurs. The second most deadly dinosaur in this film is Slash the Allosaurus. Slash, you know, like claw, Slash, you know. He's uh, 40 to 60 feet long and is v definitely oversized. And I know you're probably thinking, yeah, look at that Chris, he's a dinosaurus. But um since i couldn't really change that in the movie he's a cross between a dilophosaurus and an allosaurus to add intelligence and you know add just add more to the size it's because allosaurus was nowhere near that big this big in real life the, i think the maximum size for allosaurus was like 20 feet long if i'm not mistaken yeah this is a very oversight it's gonna be the main dinosaur in the movie the main villain anyways let's get to the next stuff now for the number one most powerful dinosaur in the film, Red Tooth, the T-Rex. Red Tooth is a 30-year-old old elder in their age T-Rex who is 60 to 80 feet long, can easily defeat any of the dinosaurs in the film, probably might have a hard time with the Allosaurus, but seriously, this is the champ, guys. He is go he is going to be only seen like with glimpses during the whole film until the end scene where you can finally see his face to make it more chilling and he's the good guy in the film basically he's and uh I I don't even know what to say other than he is the hero of the film and will likely have a big victory in some time in the film next I'm going to show you all the dinosaurs roars let's get started.